as far. Where do you stand on it now? There have been revisions. Yeah, there have been revisions. I'd like to see more. I'm going to continue fighting. I've heard it's a fluid process and we're going to continue negotiating. Uh, I appreciate that we've had some uh, changes. We've obviously increased what the, the so-called property tax deduction to a amount capped at 10000 I still think it's low considering New Yorkers. Right. I'm from upstate New York. Eight, all eight of my counties are in the top 36 highest uh, property taxes in the nation, meaning they have the highest property tax based on value. So that's a percentage of value. So people need the deductions. Yeah, people need the deductions. And what's interesting about it is the so-called SALT, the state and local tax mm -hmm. uh, deduction, uh, is something that was really made for the wealthier. But it's become, because New York taxes are so high, our income tax is among the highest in the nation. Our property taxes, as I indicated, even in my area, are very high. It, it scoops up the middle class, and we want to make sure that we're giving them a tax break. We were promised a tax break for the middle-income families. That being said, we are eliminating the alternative minimum tax. Mm -hmm. We're doubling the standard deduction. We're keeping the mortgage interest tax. We're keeping the charitable deduction. But one-third of taxpayers across the nation use the state and local tax deduction. So it's, a, it's problematic when you have high-tax states like New York. Are you a no vote as it stands right I'm, now? Right now, I'm under negotiate. We're negotiating. I'm leaning yes uh, because there are a lot of other good things in it. I still want to run the numbers. I'd like to see a calculator to make see if we can do a little better, mm -hmm. get some kind of concession on the income tax look, deductibility. But look, this yeah. is a 400 page tax plan mm -hmm. right now, tax proposal. And I, you say that you're in negotiations. It's my understanding, and I think you said mm -hmm. it, that you were with Paul Ryan and his group on a daily basis. You guys are trying to meet mm -hmm. daily, trying to get this thing figured out by the self-imposed mm -hmm. deadline of, he wants to do it before Thanksgiving. They, they do. They want to get it done. I, I, I have been meeting, we've been meeting with our chairman of Ways and Means, Kevin Brady. We've been meeting with a number of other members who uh, we're trying to get to yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a lean yes. I'd like to see more. I'm not going to quit until we get, you know, get closer to what we need to do. Because here's the interesting thing. I keep hearing Chuck Schumer, Governor Cuomo, Nancy Pelosi decrying how this is a tax break for the rich. The rich are getting soaked in this. There is going to be huge increases. The president wants to keep the highest rate imposed by President Obama at 39.5%. That's a high tax rate. That's not coming down. Um, and so if you have a high tax rate, you come from a state like New York or California or New Jersey or Illinois with some of the highest income taxes, you take away the deductibility and you don't lower the rates, you're going to see an increase for the higher earners and quite frankly they pay a lot of the income right. especially in new york state where we know that we're we have a lot of new york city look, residents that pay the, a share the, the statistic that i gave mm. where we talk about sure maybe right now next mm. year this family making fifty nine thousand dollars a year is going to get a thousand dollars plus in a tax return mm. but ten years from now they're going to be paying more Do people... i'm not sure that's an accurate statistic but i i saw you put it up on the screen right. i'm not sure about that All right. but here's the other thing this is about growth so there's going to be ninety five percent of small businesses use what they call pass-through income, so they're going to be able to grow that way. S almost 70% of the new jobs created in this country are created by small businesses. Are small businesses behind mm -hmm. this right now? Because you have Some been very are. familiar with the I, small businesses, absolutely. and they've not been happy about it NFIB, at all. NFIB, National Federation of Independent Business, is, is unclear. They're, they're like leaning no right now. I am a big supporter. I'm a longtime member of NFIB. I'm a champion for small businesses. Mm -hmm. I still think we can do better on this. I think we can help the middle class. They're going to get a tax cut. But as you say and you point out, it needs to be stronger, better, and beautiful, as the president said. So we would like to see that it's essential that we cut our taxes. I mean, look across the nation, uh, the rest of the world. I mean, Ireland, for example, they are not going to ever raise their taxes because they know it's a winner. They know it's growth. They know it creates jobs. Repatriating the money from overseas is going to be a big mm -hmm. boon to my area. We have what's called, I call it the Rust Belt of New York. A lot of the, the business in, in the world, IBM was founded in my district. Yeah. Over almost 15,000 jobs, down wow. to 200. Uh, Remington Arms, mm. uh, Paul Revere Manufacturing, all these great businesses were founded. Oneida Limited, all these great businesses are gone. Where are they? They're in Asia. We need to bring that money back. We need to encourage American companies to come back and reinvest so that money. So bottom line right now, mm. if you're leaning yes, if this does not change in any fashion significantly, mm. How do you vote? I want to see a calculator and run through as many scenarios as I can. I've been trying to do that since yesterday. We've been sort of looking at the cap, raising that cap. I know my colleague, Congressman MacArthur from New Jersey, has proposed raising it to like 12500 mm -hmm. I think we can do better. I think we can come up with a solution and a compromise on giving deductibility to the income tax. But one thing we really have to do, we have to tell the state of New York, Governor Cuomo, the Assembly Democrats, to stop raising taxes on the American people, particularly New Yorkers, because we should not be the highest tax 
tech state in the nation. And All we've right. got to do something about that. Congresswoman Claudia Thank Kenney you so from much. New York. Thank